British Columbia is fast becoming recognised across the world as a centre of gastronomy. For chefs, diners and shoppers alike, it's all about the local, seasonal and sustainable produce. So where better to get a flavour of what's happening on the food scene here than at one of Vancouver's finest markets? Well, I can see incredible colours, I can smell amazing things. I'm clearly in a market. Rosanna, where am I exactly? Definitely. Well, this is our famous Granville Island Public Market. Okay. And it's, it's what you see, it's just the aromas, the colours, and it's all about the seasonal products that we have in here. So, definitely, in terms of flavour, there's no comparison. And we'll see that later. I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste afterwards. Excellent. Well, let's go. Let's have a look at what we can see. We have amazing product. Great quality, freshness is a must, everything is hand selected by the vendors that are within the market and that's just the way it is. Incredibly knowledgeable staff, whether you're going to the produce stand and asking for you know, what sort of vegetables are in season or if you're going to a more specialty store like, or, or supplier like Oyama uh, Charcuterie for example, you know, those are the things that distinguish it. How are you? Good morning. I'm very well, thank you. I hear you have some meats for me to try. They look amazing. Yes, we have a... I'll give you a... A little selection about what uh, we do, you know, like what you have to, uh, to start with the, this one. We make a, a duck prosciutto. A duck that mean, prosciutto? Duck prosciutto, what we do, uh, we take the, 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 the duck breast, we cure it, after that we put them together, and after that, we smoke them. Okay. Oh. We try to keep uh, traditions, um, all the recipe, and we updating the recipe to the actuality. That mean less salt, maybe a little bit less fat, you know, because now you know everybody are very careful of that. That means also fat is good for you. But what kind of fat? We use just good fat. And sampling the goods on a tour of the market is a great way to learn more about the variety of produce on offer and to get to meet the vendors, all of whom share a real passion for food. There's such an incredible abundance of fruit and veg here, and as you were saying, all, all locally grown. For Vancouverites, is that a very important thing? It is indeed, as you can see, it's quite early in the morning and it's a mid-week day and the market is getting quite busy. So a lot of the locals do come here to do their regular shopping. Now we're very fortunate in Vancouver because we don't only have the public markets just as Granville Island, but we also have during the summer season an abundance of farmers markets right. where the local growers, they come, they set up their tables and you can find an amazing selection of local products. Buying directly from the farmer. Exactly. So it doesn't get any fresher than that. I don't know why you'd want to go to a supermarket when you've got all of this. One of the greatest things about not only the market but Vancouver in general and our province is that we're extremely multicultural. So that of course is reflected in what you see in the market. You see ingredients from every single culinary tradition that is represented in the population of Vancouver. Okay, I have a little something for you. Close okay. your eyes. It's very heavy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open my eyes? Well, we can't talk about BC oh. and our food industry <laughs> and our food bounty without talking about our seafood. Look at the size of this. It's a salmon. <laughs> it is a salmon oh, indeed. Yeah. This is a sockeye salmon. It's so heavy. It's yeah, and it's only one of our five varieties that we find in British Columbia's water. I'm guessing the taste of a fish like this who has, you know, really had a proper wild oh, yes. life is going to be so much better. Well, you talk about muscle development farm. that is yeah. of course reflected in the flavor, right? Of so you can replicate that, he definitely. Is, he's beautiful, isn't he? Look at that fish. <gasps> So Rosanna, you've got a few more things for me to taste here. What should we start with? I could not send you home without trying some of these products. Brilliant. And just like everything we have in our store, they are from BC. Right. Yes, okay. so, and these are perhaps one of the best sellers. What we have here is a combination of lobster oil with solera balsamic. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's nice. Mm. And the color combination is just amazing. Mm. So this lobster oil, for example, is uh, made by one of the most famous local chefs uh, when it mm. comes to seafood. That is really, really tasty. Now this, you've told me it's salmon, but that looks like meat. <laughs> it really, it doesn't look like salmon. Well, as a matter of fact, it is salmon, of okay. course. And it's actually, well, called commonly Indian candy. Now the misconception about calling it Indian candy is when the Europeans arrived here, they saw that they were having them as treats for the kids and everything, so they thought it was equivalent of candy. <laughs> You're that speechless. That is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. There's no particular one section for produce or for meats or for seafood. It's pretty much all scattered. So keep your eyes open for those unique ingredients. Don't be shy, ask questions. All of the staff here at the market, they're quite knowledgeable and they're happy to tell you about a particular ingredient, where it was coming from. Keep an eye for those unique things and that's the best way to know everything that's in the market.